back at the regular filming spot. It's not super windy today. So I've shown this bag before. It's just the Vito Pro Pack MC bag. It's just my around the house bag. Take it somewhere if somebody needs help. I have done a few changes in this bag. Changed the meter and a couple other things. So if anybody wants to see an update on this bag, let me know. Added a couple things. But I wanted to put together something just to carry around around the ranch or you know around the house. Just something that I could do basic plumbing with, basic electrical with. But I had two goals for this little bag. One is I didn't want to cannibalize this bag and take stuff out of this bag and be, need both of them at the same time. So the way I have it set up is I can grab this bag without needing what's in this because I didn't want to have to need both of them to be able to get stuff done. So with this one, it's obviously not going to get everything done. So I'm going to need more tools on certain occasions, but I didn't want to have to grab both of grab the little one with the big one. And the second goal was I didn't want anything duplicated from this bag to this bag. There's one thing duplicated, I'll get into that, but it's not that big of a deal. So I wanted to show you this little thing. So this is just an Occidental leather. It's the 5057. It is the, um, I think they call it the four pouch. Um, it's like a tool, I forgot what, exactly what they call it, but it's the, it's the, like, the go pouch or whatever um, but it is occidental leather so it is USA made and then one thing I will say about this pouch is uh, you need to stretch it it needs to stretch because it's leather so I had this is what I wanted to carry in here but it wouldn't fit for the first like couple of weeks just because of the leather so I just kept stretching it till now everything fits good so let me reposition the camera here and I'll show you what I keep in here so I did cannibalize one thing I took the um, the Klein hybrid pliers out of this bag and I put them in here, but I do have um, wire strippers in that bag anyway, so I didn't think it was that big of a deal. So what I keep in the front here is I keep, these are the um, Knipex pliers wrenches, and this is the 180 millimeter version, or I think it's seven and a quarter inches. But basic plumbing, you know, if you got a flat fitting, a hose or something, that's what this one works good for. And then right next to it, the Knipex, the 180 millimeter Cobra pliers which, you know, for any other kind of pipes or anything, you kind of need two pairs of pliers sometimes, and sometimes you want one that you need the smooth jaws for, so I keep it like that, and it's pretty balanced. It helps out pretty well. And then, like I mentioned before, the, the Klein hybrid pliers, because these things, they got the nice cutters that'll cut steel, copper, aluminum. I could fix electric fences with it. it has the nice wide jaws for, like, twisting wires, so I can fix the electric fence with it if I need to, and then... It's got the wire strippers and the screw cutters and the crimper. And then I like these two because they were, they're shorter. They're only, um, they're only about five and a half to six inches long compared to like, I was going to put lineman pliers in here, but they were just too long. And I just, these ones are really, really nice. These ones work really good. And then I put the Fluke, the 1AC, the non-contact voltage tester in here. So this is the duplicate. There's a voltage tester in that bag. There's the ideal one. Actually, let me open it up really quick and show you. So there's the ideal one, which this one was originally in this bag because it has the flashlight, and I figured it was a cool dual-purpose thing. But it's just a little too big to fit in here. So I picked the Fluke one because it's it's a little bit shorter, and it's it's just a little bit you know smaller in diameter, and it's just a little bit smaller. So it works way better in this bag. And two, um, I had the Klein one in that bag, and I don't know, I just, I don't like the Klein one. I like Klein tools, but there was a recall on that one. I sent it back and they, they've exchanged it, but I don't know. So that's why I got the ideal one because the Klein one just kind of, it scared me a little bit. So then the Fluke one is really, Fluke's a really great brand. So that's why I put that in here. And then for the multi screwdriver bit, I decided to get the 11 in one impact because basically I can grab this kit and my impact gun and pretty much get everything done that I need to get done. This thing works great because I can just take it apart. It's got the quarter inch hex, it's got the nut drivers, it's got the, um, the screwdriver bits, everything I need, so I don't have to carry extra stuff. And I was actually able to take the bit set out of this bag because of this, so it made it a lot, a lot more easier. And then this one was something that I kind of added 
that I wasn't sure that I was gonna use, but I've already used this a bunch of times. So this is a five inch pair of vice grips. These are actual vice grip brand and they are USA made vice grips. I found them on eBay. Man, these things look brand new. So these things were great. Like I wasn't sure how I would use these around, but works. I had to put a, a latch on a gate the other day and I was able to open them up and hold the latch so I could get the screws in it. So if you don't carry a pair of vice grips or locking pliers, maybe you should. And these are, I originally thought seven inch, but seven inch was a little too big. So then I got the five inch. And then again, the bag has to stretch because I had it back here and it just, every time I would take them out, it would unclip the bag and it would fall off. But now that I got the bag to stretch, it seems to work really, really well. So I hope you guys like this little tour of this small little EDC bag. If anybody wants to see what updates I've done to the tech, or not the tech MC, the Vito Pro Pack MC bag, let me know down in the comments and I could do an updated video on that.